before I introduce this video like I did half an hour ago when I actually did, I'm going to save a lot of people the trouble of commenting and telling me that I talk way too much by saying, yes, you can upgrade the display panel in your Del Vostro 1500 from the relatively low resolution stock one, which is, I still don't remember or care, uh, if it, I think it's 1200 by 800 or something like that. You can upgrade it to the high resolution display, which is 1920 by 1200. So if you want to watch the rest, watch the rest. Otherwise, you can leave now. Um, I will post the model number of the one that I used in the description, etc. So yeah, no complaints. Good evening. Er, it's evening for me, so good evening. Uh, here's my Dell. Here's my Dell Vostro. You all know that I love it. Had at least two, maybe three videos on it. Um, side note, here's this Asus gaming laptop that I'm working on for a friend, and it's very unfortunate. I think it really does have a GPU issue. Um, if I really feel like it, I might try and reflow the GPU because it's built into the motherboard. But it might just totally be screwed. Anyway, back to the Dell. <laughs> um... I have been, people have asked me, and I've always wondered myself, whether you could uh, upgrade, sorry, I'm opening something here for you guys, upgrade the display in it, because, where's my knife? These Dell 15, Buster 1500s came with either the display that I have, which is the, just the base model, which I think is a 12, 1200 by 800, maybe, 16 by 10, whatever that is, I don't know. Or, or, if you wanted to spend some big bucks, you could get the uh, high resolution display in it, which I think, I think, was 1900 by 1200. I'll check on that. Um, and so, what I'm going to do today is see if I can put one in. It's relatively affordable on eBay. I think I paid 20 some bucks for it. I said it was in great condition. You just heard me cutting off the bubble wrap, so still haven't actually opened it all the way, but uh, regardless of if this is a success, you'll be seeing it. Because if it's a failure, I'd like to let you know about that. Anyway. So, I will start digging in. Uh, I know that there's tutorials already on eBay, or on eBay, on YouTube, uh, showing you how to replace the display. You know, it's pretty simple. You just get this thing off and you take the hinges or unscrew the hinges for the display, and then you there's screws under here. Take the bezel off. Basically, just kind of pull it out. It's surprisingly simple, if I remember correctly. Anyway, so yeah, I will start digging in, and I will uh, check back in a few seconds for you, and a couple minutes for me. First tip, just really quick, uh, you take off the four little rubber things and then there's four screws and then you can get this out like that. Don't forget, these are not little rubber pads but they are covering screws. I'm using a knife because I don't care. If you're working on this for someone else, you might use something a little more careful. Actually, those came off really easy, uh, so I didn't actually damage anything. Okay, now that uh, bezel is off, and I forgot to open this and show everyone, um, I will post the exact model number of display that I bought in case this works or doesn't work, so you know either to buy that one or not buy that one. But we can see right here, I mean, this is allegedly from 
a Vostro 1500, I think. Although I think they use this display in the 1500, maybe the 1510. So you can see those line up, those tabs at the top. The inverter looks the same. Um, the only thing that I see is a problem so far is that the the data cable, data display, the main connection for the stock display, it's over here and it runs along this and then goes up and then I assume it makes its way up to here, TCON board or whatever. So I'm not sh <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to have to do about that. Um, this cable is removable from here and here. So it's possible that I can just use the cable from this display and put it on this one. Uh, it's also possible that I'm going to have to see this cable will come out about here. Have to let it fudge its way out with this, uh, what is this? I don't know what that is. Wireless, maybe? Something, whatever the hell that is. Wireless and microphone? I don't know. Anyway, I might have, have the cable relocate in a way, you know, over here instead of going all the way through this, this stock channel, but... Oh, and just really quick here. When you're buying with this display, basically the only thing that I paid attention to was that it was allegedly compatible with the Fostro 1500. And then instead of a WXGA, it's a WUXGA. I think that's right. Uh, I think I've got this, the difference right. Um, and that's just, just Google display standard resolutions or whatever. There's a Wikipedia page that has every single display standard display resolution and and ratio and then they've got something like that w u x g a w x g a x g a if you're not comfortable or if not if you're not uh, familiar with that already anyway i thought i'd mention it so if you're googling googling ebay searching for this sort of display you may not be able to find it immediately with just the model number of the display itself. You might be able to just search Del Vostro WUXGA or something like that. And you want to make sure whatever you buy. I actually found one on eBay that said uh, it was, I think the title said it was WUXGA, which is what we need for this upgrade. But then the pictures showed the regular. 1200 by 800 or whatever whatever it is. 1200 by 960 maybe? I think it's 1200 by 800. I don't remember. Anyway, pictures showed the label to that display and not the upgraded display. And it's possible that they just put the wrong pictures up, but it's also possible that they put the wrong letters up for the auction, uh, auction title. So, careful. Check it. Check it. Check it, check it, double check it. All right, next little tip. Uh, you will see, if you look around the edges of this, straight on, there's no screws that are really over here, and then there's two screws over here. There's one here and one here. And you might think, oh, well, I gotta take those out. Uh, don't, <laughs> there's no reason to. The screws, there's four on each side, and they're black, so they're kind of difficult to see against the the, the rest of the chassis, but there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that is what actually, I'll pull it up from these tabs, releases the display. Don't do that, what I just did there. Um, you need to uh, carefully unplug this ribbon cable at the top. I totally forgot to do that. I told myself I would, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, there's what are uh, what the back looks like. Um, I'm gonna guess these are wireless antenna, yeah. Uh, the microphone that's in the top goes through this. So, I do not see on this new display 
a connection to my microphone. Sorry. There's my microphone. Um, and I believe this, uh, <clears throat> well, this connection would also go to your uh, webcam if you have a webcam on yours. And looking at it now, I think you could probably add a webcam without a problem, because I assume this cable is standard. They don't, they wouldn't change the cable whether you had a webcam or not. So that cable is going to go up to here, and on mine it just goes to the two mics. But if you have a webcam, I assume since there's seven pins on this thing, you don't need seven pins for two mics, so. I'm sure, let's see, seven, one, two, three. If these have a separate ground, then there's still four wires left. Or, yeah. Separate ground from the webcam. There's still four wires left to go to the webcam. So I think you could just swap in the webcam module without a problem. Just, you have to use that, this cable. Yeah. Sorry, I'm talking a lot for this. Uh, I'm gonna, reuse this cable, assuming it fits in the other one, I'm pretty damn sure it will. <laughs> uh, actually, I'll just do that right now. Because um, this is an actual, like, solid PC board. Printed circuit board. There we go. So now, removing this, carefully Fully. Oh, we've got this other one down here. Don't forget, it's got a separate connection to the inverter. So I mean, the old display is now removable. Whoa. And I'll set the new one down. Throw that way. And remove the cables that came with it. So there's the cable that came with my new display. Maybe it went with a model or some sub-model that happened to not have the uh, uh, microphones at the top. I don't know. And then we get to lay this back down. Does the inverter still fit? Yep. Sure does. And does this still fit? Yep, just fine. Now, the fact that those fit doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to work. And I've learned this through... I fixed an old iMac. I think I have uh, some videos on it. At least one video on it. I fixed an old iMac. It was the first Intel iMac. And the previous owner had cracked a display and then bought what seemed like the right display for it. Everything fit, all the connectors were right, but it was a different revision and sub-revision number, model number, than the one that needed to go in it. And I thought, well, why would that matter? Like, it's just a revision. Like, maybe they changed something in the guts of the monitor, but the connection should still be the same. Wrong. <laughs> Apparently, at least in that case, you really did need to have a pretty exact model number for it to still communicate with the display. The display lit up, but it just didn't show a picture. So hopefully that's not the case here. Hopefully that uh, this is all actually compatible. My computer went to sleep. Uh, this is going to be fun. i got to hold this carefully and put this damn thing back in there feel bad for ripping that out on accident because I told myself not to do it. So, that's it. I mean, I have to put the screws back in. But the fact that it's all connected means... Sorry, I didn't move that. Uh, that I can turn it on now and see what happens, so... Put the battery back in. By the way, I took the battery out because that's smart. And let's see, this is the power button. Oh, oh, look at that. First try. 
let's see what happens when I get into Windows. I'm gonna stop the camera really quick and zoom in. Sorry, I just realized when I resumed there that uh, resumed s or z o o m that I was in macro mode. So I'm sorry if that was completely blurry that entire time. Well, so far, my mouse pointer is tiny. Yep, that's tiny. Everything's tiny. That's good. All the text is tiny. That means we are running at full resolution on this new display. Uh, let me see. Make sure we're all the way up on the brightness. Looks to me... Might be a little scuff on there that I didn't know about. Here, I'll shut the back light off, too. The other light, I should say. Look at that. Look how small my start menu is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my six, eight... Did I get this? Eight, that's an eight. Seven-year-old Del Vostro. Almost, give or take now has a display that is higher than full HD resolution. Oops. Screen resolution. There we go, 19, 19, ugh, 1920 by 1200. I'll zoom in on that too. Check it out. Total success. I think I paid 30 bucks to do this. Yeah. Um, and as I'll see, I still haven't even, still haven't even put the thing <laughs> completely together. I still haven't put the screws in the side of the display, so it is absolutely fully functional with the display upgrade. So yeah, here we are once again. I've got it all back together, and I've got the new display in it. And as you'll see, yeah, it's, 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 uh working just great. So, look at the size of that start menu. It's so small. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks.